This video demonstrates three paths to finding news items for your research. First, you can use the PSU Library website to search for news items. Enter your search terms in the search box and click Enter. For this example, I'll be searching for information about Title IX. From your results list, use the filters on the left to narrow your results to newspaper articles. Apply the filter, then lock it into place. This will keep the filter from resetting when you change your search terms. For example, you might consider adding a location to this type of search. The default results list sorts by relevancy, but you can change that to date newest or select your own date range using the date filter. Click on an item to access the full text, cite, or pin the item to your My Favorites folder. You will be prompted to log in using your Odin username and password. The second way to find news items is to use a library database. You can find our entire suite of news databases by accessing the Databases and Articles link from the homepage. Then use the drop-down menu for By Type and select News from the list. Each database has a specific focus, so read the description to find the one that best fits your needs. For example, U.S. Major Dailies provides access to the Chicago Tribune, the Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. Once I'm inside the database, I will use the search box at the top to enter my search terms. I'll narrow my search by adding an additional word, transgender. My results list shows results sorted by most recent first. The left side of the screen has all of my filtering options, such as publication date. U.S. Major Dailies has a bar graph indicating a big spike in news articles about my topic in 2016. This leads me to wonder what happened in 2016 to cause this spike. When I use Google to investigate further, I find that 2016 was the year President Obama ended the ban on transgender military personnel. The third way to find news is on the open web. You can use Google to enter your search terms and filter by news in the menu at the top of your search results. You can further narrow by time using the tools option. If you have a news source in mind that you want to search within, use the site searching technique to search within it. Here's how that works. First, you'll enter your search terms, then add site, S-I-T-E, followed by a colon, then the URL of the news site. In my example, I'll be searching the Oregonian, our local news source. Their URL is OregonLive.com. My search is as follows, Title IX, S-I-T-E, a colon, OregonLive.com. Here's that same search using another local news source, OPB. I'll update my search with the URL opb.org. I can still make use of the tools menu at the top to narrow by time. And there you have it, three paths to finding news items to use in your research.